So if you take a look, you've got four different parts in your little table here. You've got a hook, our transition sentence, our thesis, and a preview. Yeah. Thesis. So we're going to flip through a PowerPoint real quick, and it'll help to explain our different sections. All right, so our introduction. So for this, uh, we're writing inform informative and explanatory text to examine a topic and convey ideas, concepts, and information through the selection, organization, and analysis of relevant content. So in our introduction, we're going to introduce the topic clearly. We're going to preview what is to follow, organize ideas and concepts, and information into broader categories, including formatting, the different types of headings, graphics, and multimedia when useful to aid in comprehension. All right. So we can review our prompt. So when you read the text set on budgeting, then we're going to write an explanatory essay for our school newspaper explaining the effective strategies for budgeting. So as you're going through this, creating your introduction and your whole essay, these are just some tips to remember. So you want to manage your time wisely. Make sure you read all the passages, which we've already done that. You should have underlined some important details, plan your response, and then you're going to write your response. So you're going to take all your different graphic organizers, the one I just handed out, and the other one with the big ideas, and that's going to help you to write it. After you write it, you're going to revise it and edit it. So you want to read over, see if there's any mistakes you made, have somebody else read over it, Maybe they've got some good ideas of some information that you can include in your essay. And you want to use evidence from multiple sources. So we've got three different texts we can use. So try and use some stuff from each one of them. And avoid overly relying on one source. So one source might have really good information that you like, but you want to try and pick something from each of the three articles. And then write your response in the form of a multi-paragraph essay. So we've got our conclusion, since we have three articles, you could have three body paragraphs, one about each of the stories, and then you've got, or sorry, you've got an introduction, the three body paragraphs, and then your conclusion. So a total of five. All right. So for our introduction, these are the four different parts to include. So we've got a hook. It's something that's going to, it's attention grabbing and it's an introductory sentence. We have a transition sentence. This sentence connects the hook with the thesis. So we already have our thesis down. So once we create our hook, we're gonna put our transition sentence right after it. And that's gonna help our introduction to flow so that the reader has a better idea of what's going on. Our thesis statement, like I said, we already have that down. That's our controlling idea, the main idea of our essay and a preview sentence. It's the final sentence that gives the reader an idea of what's to come. So you wanna give the, the reader a little hint about what your whole essay is going to contain. Yes, Jason? Should we write this down? No, I can flip back to it if you need help later. Uh, but there's only there's uh, a couple slides after this that okay. you might wanna take notes or else I can flip back to it later also. All right, so we're gonna look at ways to hook the reader. So this is going to help us to make our introduction interesting. And as the first one states, interesting statement. It's an attention-grabbing sentence related to the topic. So it could be something, an important detail maybe that you found, or something that you can relate to that maybe you want to share with the reader to get them excited about reading your essay. You can use a quote, so a direct quote from the topic or about the topic from somebody credible or attention worthy. So maybe if you're writing about trains or something and you have the opinion of a engineer or train conductor, maybe including something that they've said, that would be important for your reader to have some background knowledge. You can include a rhetorical question. So these are questions that just get the reader thinking about the topic. Not necessarily something they're going to answer, but something that will make them think more. And maybe, hopefully, they can find your or their answer to the question in your essay. An anecdote. It's a brief story related to the topic. 
So you could tell a brief story, maybe from a life experience that you have related to the topic. Seeing as how our topic here is about budgeting, maybe you could talk about one time where you had to budget your money or just figure out how to split it up so you could get the most, you could buy the most things that you wanted. Uh, description. So you've got specific details. That's where your other sheet, the one that has the big idea on it, you've got some supporting details there so you can pick stuff from there to include in your hook. And our last option is quick switch. So it's beginning with an opposing viewpoint. So if our articles are all about budgeting, then you want to talk about the opposite. So maybe just going out and spending all your money as soon as you get it, not being very careful. So as we look at our different introductions, this is the one from, let's see, this example. So when kids are growing up, the decisions that their parents make are about money seem easy. They think that their parents have an endless supply of money to spend. That is rarely the case. So that could be a good way to hook your reader in. So that's a quick switch. You're presenting the opposite point of view, thinking that your parents have an endless supply of money, but they actually don't. I know, shocker. <laughs> right. yeah. I wish. Yeah. So this one, it's a question. So have you ever wondered why it seems like some schools have more than others? So this is just something to get your reader thinking, hmm, what does my school have? Are there other schools that are different? What do they have? Right. So now we're going to work on our introduction. So we've got the four different parts, our hook, transition sentence, thesis, and preview sentence. So pull out this sheet. Make sure you have your name at the top. Yeah. All right. And we're going to go over that. So we've got our hook. be one of these options. So I want you guys to either work in partners or work on your own. I want to work on my own. So sure, I that's fine. Pick one. Uh, we pick one. Right. So you've got your hook is our first box. So you're going to pick one of these ways. So Ryan's say, out. When Ryan comes back, you can if go. If you picked quote, okay, you can flip through your articles what? and try and find okay, one quote. Okay, wait for him to come back and then you can go. From your articles that maybe has a main idea related to your thesis statement. Remember, your thesis statement is the main idea. That's what your whole essay is about. So if you're going to pick quotes or a description, finding specific details that are all about that thesis statement. Uh, so um, I choose quick switch. Sure. So if you pick quick switch, remember that's the one where you're going to do the opposite. Uh -huh. So if we're talking about budgeting, now you're going to talk about maybe not budgeting. How you're going to get all your not money and just spend it. Spend all here. It. Remember when Jamie was oh, talking about prioritize it. yesterday. So maybe you don't have your priorities straight. Oh. You'd rather spend money doing fun things than when you actually need food or clothes. Oh, I think that. I think it's legit. Right. That's how I was thinking about it. Or you about getting something for entertainment. Uh, Exactly. Yeah. That thing, I guess so you've I'm going to do all these quick different ways. So you got well. six different ways. So pick one for your hook. And if you need help, let me know and I can come around and help you. But I think that the quote, because it's oops, it's something that's directly from the text that you can pick. Wait, go back. Yeah, leave it on there. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's your right again? Matters. Yeah, yeah. That's what so you're got, picking, honey. You got one of these, one of the ones in red here. You're going to pick it. And then you're going to try and find information from your text so you can relate it to your thesis statement. Try that again. Hmm? Just, just copy me any of those. So any of these. So if you want to pick a description, look at your page, the one that had the big ideas on it, and you can pick some details from that. Okay. And that could be your hook right there, something you already have written down. Like fixing comments. How like can I do a quick money for spending? switch? So a quick switch. So if you want to do like not budgeting, do the Excuse opposite. Me? So what does it say on like there? Like this? Like so think about the money. Like monitor spending? Right. So you can pick some of the details from that. No, that's, that's the main idea. 
Okay, so yeah, expand on that. Any choice of spending is in the some details that relate to the topic. Okay, I love PowerPoint. So you've got these six ways. What should I write it on? Any of those comments? Right. So you're gonna, that's one, you're one gonna pick one. any of the ones in yeah. red here, and that's what you're gonna write about. So if you pick a quote, pick something important from your articles that you'd like to include that relates to your thesis statement. Quick switch. You can do any of those. Right. You pick quick switch, and that's the one where you pick present the opposite point of view. Quick. The description could be one of the easier ones too, because that's something you already have written down. Like, why don't you stop? So you've got a choice of one of these six. So pick one and work on your hook. 